Hello coders, today I am solving liquid problem number 901 online stock spam. Um, so we are asked to design an algorithm that collects daily code prices and then return the span of stock price for current day. So what's a span? A span is um, the maximum number of consecutive days uh, for which um, all the prices are less than the current stock price. So, for example, we are given stock price for uh, the seven days and span for uh, day one, which 100, which is equals to one because 100 is uh, either less or equals to 100, right? So, the span is equals to one. And for in case of 80, we, uh, the minimum value will always be one. The minimum value for span is always be one because it always uh, count itself as well. And then we look uh, for all the prices before that uh, day. And since uh, we only have one day, which is 100, it is greater than 80. So the span is only equals to one here. In case of 60, 60, um, uh, we have a 1 and then 80 uh, and 100 both are greater than 60 so the span is only 1 in case of 70 uh, 60 is less than 70 right so the span for 70 is 2 um, in case of 60 here the span is only 1 because before 60 we have a 70 so there is no consecutive um, price less than 60 before that day um, in case of 75 we uh, 60 is less than 75 70 and 60 these are all less so the span is 4 and in case of 85 this is the span which is equals to 6 here so now in this question uh, we need to initialize the object of the class which is stock spanner and then we need to um, um, uh, write algorithms for the next function uh, which actually returns the span so we need to return the span for this function so how could we solve this problem um, so let's look at this example here uh, so when we define the stock spanner uh, we are actually um, we are, are then inserting all of these values next whenever we call next where we need to save these values in a consecutive manner so that we can access those values to identify the span right so the best way to save these values are by using array so we are going to use array for our stock spanner where we will save the prices in consecutive manner so we are gonna save the value 100 here next again uh, we are gonna save the value 80 next we are gonna save value 60 and so on so if i uh, have until 60 if i have all the prices until 60 so what's the span of 60 when i uh, perform this next function here um, the elements in my array so far are 10 and 80 right and 60 is the element passed just now so of course the span of 60 when compared with itself is equals to 1 and then when compared with 80 uh, since 80 is greater than 60 um, it's 0 and then we break here because we do not move forward because it should be consecutive right so the span here is only equals to 1 now um, when we uh, reach here uh, the values in our array will be something like this so we'll have a 70 here we'll have a 60 here a 75 and then an 85 right so to uh, calculate the span for 85 now i what i need to do is i i need to check for all the values before it so i compare 85 with 75 since it is less 
uh, well the span is always initialized to the value of one uh, so i'll actually compare 85 with 85 also so span is equals to one then and then i compare 85 with 75 and span increases from one to two uh, since 75 is less then i compare 85 with 60 which is also less than 85 so i increment the span and compare it with 70 increment my span and then again compare it with 60 and increment my span again then i again compare this with 80 and increment my span here again so what i'm doing again is in comparing it with 100 and since 100 is greater so i stop there so my span here is equals to one two three four five and a six so it is six span is equals to six here so if i were to find a span of 70 then i would be doing the same thing here right so the span of 70 would be uh, compared with 75 um span of this element would be uh, comparison of 75 with itself which is equals to 1 then with 60 is less so the span is equals to 2 uh, 70 is also less the span is equals to 3 now 60 is less than a span is equals to um, 4 now and now 80 is greater right so span is equals to 4 only so we stop here the span is equals to 4 so here in this case the span is equals to 6 here the span is equals to 4 right what about 80 80 um, it's less than 100 so the span here is equals to 1 what about 100 it has a span of 1 right uh, let me use a different color here okay let me just clean things up um, so it will be easier for us to uh, see things. Okay, great. Um, so span for 100 is equals to 1. Span for 80 is equals to 1. Span for 75 here is equals to 1. Um, and span for 85 uh, is equals to 6 as we calculated from here right so um, from here um, we could see that to calculate the span of 85 what we could do is uh, we could add um, we could just check is 75 less than 85 yes it is then we add a 1 to this 4 um, so initially so we will just initialize span for 85 is it as uh, value 1 and then uh, since 75 is less than 4 less than 85 so we add the span of 75 to this value so we add 4 here and then we do not check for all of these values we directly come to this value and we check is 80 less than 85 yes it is so we add a value um add the span of 80 here and then again uh, check for this one because we have a span for this um is 100 less than 85 no it isn't so we just break from the loop and then our value becomes equals to six so what are we actually doing here is we are only keeping the track of all the values um keeping all only the track of the values with uh, the span maximum span so far so um, um i'll create a new array here uh, I won't have this array because this would take me of n uh, time complexity if I were to find a span by going through each of the values one by one. 
so um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create an array and then each time I call a next on a value uh, what I do is I check uh, for any uh, spans any values and the span of that value before uh, inserting this value since there is no element here so I just insert my value 100 and this span which is equals to 1 here and then next what I'm gonna do is next time when I next is called with the value 80 then again I'm gonna check all the values prior to that with are which are less than 80 if th those are less than 80 then i'm gonna add the span of that value because that was what i did here did you see like since 75 was less than 85 i added the span of 75 to the span of 85 since we do not have any value less than 80 here so i'm just gonna add 80 with its span which is equals to one next when i call another element which is 60 i'm also gonna do the same thing so since 80 is greater than 60 i'm gonna add insert 80 to my array and then when i call the next element which is on 70 now i see here 60 is less than 70 right so what i do is uh, i pop this element out of the array um, and i add the span of that element to my current price so my current price is 70 i add this span which is equals to 1 to the span of 70 which is always initialized as value 1 so minimum value is 1 so i add this 1 to my minimum value which is equals to 1 so this becomes equals to 2 here so my new element here is 70 comma 2 so similarly when I add my next element which is 60 here now again 60 is greater right less than 70 so I add 60 comma 1 and then again when I insert another element which is 75 well 75 is greater than 60 so I add 1 I add this span of 60 to my minimum value of span and then again i add this seven value of span to my value for 75 because 70 is again less than 75 and 80 is greater so i don't add anything here i pop up these two elements and then i add 75 and 2 so when 85 is inserted i do the same thing since 75 is less okay it's not two it's actually four this is equals to four right so when 85 is inserted here uh 75 is less than 85 so i pop this off i add four to one and then again 80 is also less so i pop this off and then add a one to this and then since 100 is not less so i add the total value which is the span to this so this is equals to six and i, I return this value the last value so let's now dive into the, our code so we are gonna create um an array here and then uh, let span equals to one which is always initialized to one let p equals to an empty element here and then um i'm gonna push price to p and then while um this but length is greater than zero and this the length dot um length the last element that is this okay so it is last element length minus one will give us the last element uh, 
and the price of that last element which is index 0 is less than or equals to the current price then uh, what are we going to do is we're going to pop uh, we are going to add n equals to um, this dot pop the element and add this pen which is at index one of that uh, span plus so we are going to add it to this pen and and return this pen and also we need to yeah we need to push our value um p dot push span and then this dot push um p this dot here dot so it will be this that are dot push this that are Okay, let's run our code here. What is it? Error dot ringlet dot terror as well. Great, so um, let's use all our example. Cool, let's submit this. So the time comes.